Hey, welcome back to Top Speed Golf. I'm Clay Ballard, and we're doing the Top Speed Golf Training Aid Review, where I review all kinds of different training aids and give them a score, one to 10, and tell you whether or not I think they're gonna be good for your game. So, pretty interesting one here. This one actually has been recommending on and off for probably five, six years, called a flat ball. It's made by a company called Izzo. These things are dirt cheap. You get like an eight pack for eight bucks. They're basically indestructible. They're made out of this kind of rubber, flexible material, super lightweight. You can whack them around in your backyard. You can probably hit them in your living room into the couch if you wanted to. And it gives you a little feedback of where you're hitting the ground. Now these aren't perfect. I'm gonna talk about some of the limitations with these, some things I like and don't like. But you can pop these down if you got a mat at your house. You wanna get a little practice in while you're watching TV, hit them into the couch, like I said. You can hit them just about anywhere because they're so light, they're really not gonna break anything unless you just smack it into something like a piece of glass or whatever, like wouldn't recommend that. But this is a, a quarter inch thick ball. So it's the same diameter as the ball, but if you turn it sideways, it's only a quarter inch in thickness. So the idea with these is that if you swing and you would hit it thin, you just swing right over top of this golf ball the dip, or the flat ball, you wouldn't hit it at all. So it gives you some feedback that you're hitting it thin. Uh, that's okay, but you kind of know if you're hitting it thin anyways, because if you swung on a mat and you missed the mat, well, you know you missed the mat. It's not really like rocket science there. Now, if I hit behind it, it can tell me kind of where I hit the ground, because if I hit way behind it, it'll almost just pop up and go over top of the golf ball. You gotta be pretty far behind it to make that happen, but I can usually tell, you can start to feel when you're hitting these, what you wanna do is come down, hit that quarter inch thick piece of plastic first, and then take the divot in front of this ball. And to be honest, you get a pretty good feel after you've used these for a while of whether or not you're doing that. So let me go ahead and try to hit one here. And that felt pretty good. I could tell like, you can get just enough sensation from this. It's just heavy enough to where you can feel if you're hitting the mat or the ball first most of the time. Another limitation though is, I can't quite tell if I'm hitting it a quarter inch behind this ball, a half inch, an inch behind the ball. Sometimes it's tough to know. It also doesn't give you very much feedback on how much you're hitting down into it. It's just kind of a blur as you're hitting this golf ball. And if I'm trying to work on hitting a, a draw, like on that one, I can't tell if I was just slightly heavy or I hit it pretty solid. It's just, it's a little gray area in there. I can't work on hitting a draw. It doesn't tell me if I'm slicing it, hooking it, any of that kind of stuff. I do like that you can hit them in your backyard. But when you put them up on grass, these really only work well on mats. You tee them up on some thicker grass. Well, now all of a sudden you got an inch long grass and then this ball floating around on top of it. So you could hit anywhere into that grass or the ball and the, and the flat ball is gonna shoot up out of there. So really, if you're putting them on grass, they really don't do anything at all. To be honest, it's just kind of like hitting a wiffle ball. Maybe if you just want something to hit that won't fly a long way, they'd be fine. But that's kind of limitation with that. So another one is, if I'm, if I'm making a bad swing, so let's say I'm coming down really steep and that's causing me to be inconsistent with my strike into the ground, it doesn't really give me any feedback on whether or not that's happening or what I should do to fix it. So a pretty solid product. Now my ratings, a one would be something that I just hate. I don't like it at all. I think it's gonna hurt your game. I think you should steer away from it. If somebody gave it to you, you should throw it in the trash. That's the number one. You get into the fives and those are good products, but a little bit limited. Maybe they don't do, they wouldn't be great for everybody. Uh, you get into a seven, that's a really solid score. An eight is a fantastic score and there's only a handful of nines. Now, the leader in the clubhouse right now is the divot board. That's this little device here. It's a 9.4 and it's a lot like this flat ball on steroids. So if I'm comparing these two products, this is a 9.4. These things are dirt cheap, these flat balls. I'm gonna say it's probably a, I'm gonna get a 5.8. So it's a good product, it can help with some things, but it has some limitations too. In comparison to the divot board, the reason this is so much better, it gives you tons of feedback. So now when I hit this board, it shows me exactly where I made my divot. And I can see if I'm a quarter inch behind the golf ball, I know it right away. It also helps me, let's say you're hitting this way toward me, you wanna swing a little inside out, well I know, okay, that's an inside out type motion, I'm swinging inside out. If I go this way, I'm outside in across it, that's gonna help me tell if I get a slice uh, or a draw or whatever type of shot shape I'm making, exactly where I'm hitting on the ground. It also even helps me if I, if I get a little uh, angle like that with my divot, then I know my heel was hitting first and then the toe. I'm not gonna get into all the details here, but this is kind of like this flat ball on steroids. It's great, you can still use it inside. You don't have to hit a golf ball with it. Lots of advantages on that. So these flat balls, I don't get any affiliate commission. I don't get anything from that. If you wanna pick them up, um, you can do a quick Google search 
They pop up everywhere, Amazon, all those. They're a handful of bucks, great little product here. I do have uh, an agreement with the divot board. I get a small commission for every divot board that's sold. Feel free to buy them for me. If you don't buy them for me, buy them for somebody else because it's just a pretty daggone good training aid. I'll put somewhere on this page, there's gonna be uh, a button, a link in the description, uh, buttons on the screen, something's gonna be popping up here. If you do wanna get one of those divot boards, help support the channel, help support me, help support Top Speed Golf and what we're doing, put out some more videos, some great training aid content in the future, then by all means, click one of those. And I think this is, this is like the no-brainer. This is the one training aid that there's probably two or three that you just can't do without, that's one of them. So hope you enjoyed the review. I'll see you very soon.